What is impulse? Impulse is defined as the change in momentum of an object. In the rocket's case, impulse is calculated by performing the integral of thrust multiplied by time. Thrust is the reaction force acting on the rocket generated by the ejection of water from the rocket under pressure, and the time is simply how long the rocket burn lasts for. To find our optimum water fraction, I tested the thrust produced between 0 and 1 in increments of 0.05. I used numerical integration to break up the area underneath the thrust curve into trapezia and sum them to find the specific impulse. To find the optimum, I graphed the impulse and maximum thrust of each value tested, against time. This led to the conclusion that although 0.7 would appear to be the best choice as it has the greatest specific impulse, 0.5 has a greater max thrust and provides the best results in practice, so I decided to use this as our optimum value. Thin position largely affects directional stability. This wind tunnel test shows two rockets being subject to a 5 meters per second crosswind. The rocket with fins at the rear returns to equilibrium quicker than the rockets with the fins at the center. For directional stability, the centre of pressure must be below the centre of gravity, and stability further increases as the distance between these increases. The centre of pressure is the average point of all the aerodynamic forces acting on the surface of the rocket, so lowering the fins creates more pressure at the tail end, therefore lowering the centre of pressure. A rocket's flight will be subject to disturbances such as gusts of wind, and so a stable rocket with fins at the tail end will return to its initial flight path quicker. In general, to increase stability, we increase fin area, however, this also increases drag. Shapes I investigated included clip delta and tapered swept. From multiple trials, I have found that a triangular fin is the most suitable since it achieved a maximum height of 16.63 meters and flight time of 11 seconds compared to previous shapes of around 15 meters and 8 seconds. We tested how varying only the parachute area affected the velocity and the following exponential relationship was determined. As the parachute area increases, more drag is created so the descent speed decreases and we have a longer flight time as shown. However, larger parachutes take longer to deploy which would be a problem, so the optimal diameter of the parachute would be between 0.6 and 0.7 meters. The steady non-accelerated velocity of a falling object is the terminal velocity and it is achieved by equating the weight and the drag force. Once we had chosen our optimum conditions for all the required values, I carried out three tests for each value of water fraction and calculated the mean max height and flight time. I then graphed these in a histogram to verify that 0.5 is the optimum water fraction, with max height 20.43 meters and longest flight time 14.92. To conclude, the three most important things we learned about rocket design was trade-offs, how trying to maximize the performance of certain components will compromise others, also the inconsistencies of results when multiple trials were run for the same parameter values, and the importance of teamwork.